We have some construction occurring. And here we go. Todd English's Blue Zoo. Thin crispy one, this is Parmesan sesame seed lavash. Then you have onion focaccia, you can see the caramelized onions on top. Then you have oven roasted Italian ciabatta. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. The oyster from the West Coast is a purple mountain. Beautiful. Thank you. The angle is better. Thank you. You're welcome. Beautiful. Of chocolates, it's so beautiful. Phil and I are in line for the boat. We just finished up with the most incredible meal. We're in line for the friendship. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in line for the friendship. We just finished up with the most incredible meal at Blue Zoo. Friendship, get it? <laughs> friendship. <laughs> and, but we will review it a little bit later because we got out to Fast Pass at Hollywood Studios for the Tower of Terror. Very creepy. Just witnessed probably the best bell hop I've ever seen in TOT history. He was very frightening and after leaving, he, I swear I felt like he was following me somehow. It was really good. That was just awesome. Yay. What a great way to end the trip. One this final one. ride. All right, I got the Hollywood Studios tag. That means I got them all. Someone
told me there was 18. I don't know that that's true, but happy to have all the ones that I know of. something we weren't sure we were going to be able to do. Yeah! And away we go. <laughs> oh, that breeze feels nice. Yeah, it does. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Epcot International Gateway, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. This is great. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Hollywood today. Now wave goodbye to your adoring fans below. Bye. Bye. Okay, this is pretty awesome. I'm very excited and happy. So we were directed to the internal shuttle stop, which is right here next to the Skyliner station. You can see them coming on in and coming on out. CBR! This is my OG resort up until about 2018, I think? 2017? No, up until 2017, I had never stayed at any other resort than CBR. And now it's so different, and we're gonna go see what it's like. Calypso Trading Post. <laughs> Phil and I are playing Connect Four while we wait for our, our lift. Are you ready for the last last big sniff? Yeah. <laughs> Let's enjoy it to ourselves. Okay. We're gonna enjoy the last sniff to ourselves. time for some major packing but before then I want us to just give a review of our dinner all right Phil what did you think of <laughs> what did you think of our dinner at Blue Zoo um well this is gonna sound dramatic and you should really take statements like this with a grain of salt because every experience in a restaurant is going to be different and unique you might not get the same server that we got the food may not the chef may not be on his game that night who knows but pauline and i had a serious discussion before we left and we agree in the history of our seven year relationship um we have had the great fortune of being able to dine a lot of different unique um high-end low-end blue collar you know white collar places lots of different hundreds of different restaurants and of all the places we've ever eaten that was definitely our best meal together 
um, yep. from start to finish, uh, the it was exemplary. Uh, they gave us a great table before we even mentioned that we were there for our honeymoon. Um, the food was phenomenal. The service was phenomenal. Um, the prices were, I mean, I felt everything was very reasonable. The serving sizes were fantastic. I couldn't think of a single negative thing to say about the place. The ambiance was great. Um, drinks were good. I mean, they gave us the truffle platter at the end because they did find out that we were there as part of our honeymoon trip and they wanted to do something nice for us. They brought out a tray of truffles and uh, they were unlike anything I've ever had. They were, it was the best chocolate I've ever had in my life. And then we find out that in-house they have a two-time world champion um, pastry dessert chef and that those are handmade in, in-house every day by that person. So um, they deliver an incredible experience for an incredible price point in an incredible resort. If you have the opportunity, you need, if you have the opportunity and you enjoy seafood, you need to go there. Yes, and I wanna echo that. I would not recommend this restaurant if you're going with people who don't like seafood because to be honest, I, I don't know if I saw one thing on the menu that didn't include seafood in it. There was a steak. Um, there was no chicken option. There's no, you know, chicken, mm -hmm. you know, the chicken is always like the out. There's always like the $50 steak, this $45 piece of fish, and then the twenty nine ninety nine piece of chicken. That $30 piece of chicken amongst the $60 fish was not there. Don't go there looking yes. for it. There was one steak and to be honest with you when there's 30 different seafood entrees and then one steak you don't order the steak right do so only go if you're a seafood person but if you are a seafood person this is an experience not to be missed certainly go there everything about it from the service the atmosphere the food it was very very well done yeah I envision, and you know, there's so many fantastic restaurants on property. Um, it would be it would be cheap talk for me to say we're going to go back there every time, but at least one out of every two times that we come, we will be going there for a dinner. Um, that's how confident I am. And I will say too, um, when we were driving there, uh, we found out that the Swan and the Dolphin are not technically Disney resorts. But I would say of all the dining experiences that we had while on Disney property, this felt the most... Hold on. Di this next comment is not safe for magic. What do you mean? What are you... You're about to say that it's better than any Disney restaurant we've been in. Yeah. You, know, you tag those things not safe for magic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just felt that it was the service that I always wanted feel from Disney uh, that was above and beyond there and you know we had our honeymoon buttons on our entire trip and we got two chocolates from the ganachery and some chocolate cupcakes from Ohana but here I mean we got a beautiful truffle platter it said happy honeymoon on it they really made us feel so special not that i haven't felt special this whole trip but they made us feel like we were on our honeymoon yeah no disney employee and we need to mention the fact that we did not wear our buttons to this dinner um right so um disney no disney employee at any point went out of their way to do anything to make us feel special and you know what there at any one given time you know the parks can hold a hundred thousand people each so there's roughly let's say between the restaurants the parks the water parks everything else that disney has to offer cast members are experiencing five hundred thousand different people each day conservative number probably ten thousand of those people a day are on their honeymoon they yeah don't care we're a dime a dozen. Yeah, no one cares. Yeah. And that's fine. We don't come here expecting free things. Right. I definitely don't expect anything free, but I will say, I just wanted to point that out, that the ex just to express how different the experience was in terms of what else we've experienced. Yeah. But overall, this has been an amazing first part of our trip. Yeah. 
tomorrow um, at 8 a.m. The bellman is going to come and get our bags. And we have breakfast reservations at Kona at 8.15. And then we are going to be headed over to the bus at about 10.45 to get on and go over to the fantasy. I'm hoping maybe I'll have enough time to bop over to the Grand Floridian and see if they have that dress that I'm still on the hunt for. That won't happen. That won't happen. Baby. Won't happen, we won't have time. <laughs> Phil's gonna be really anxious about this. All right. <laughs> All right, night, anyways, that is gonna be it because the rest of the night, we're just going to be packing. <laughs> so, you don't want to watch that. But, thank you so much for watching. And we hope that you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you're notified every time we add a new video. Because, from past experience, it's never consistent. <laughs> and, we also hope that you comment below and tell us what you thought of the video. But until next time, peace, love, and quaharini.